Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has announced the setting up of a youth volunteer corps to encourage young people to help others. These projects will take students beyond their studies to build character and deepen commitment to Singapore. Addressing almost a thousand students and faculty at Nanyang Technological University, Mr Lee used the ministerial forum to touch on a wide range of issues confronting Singapore today. These include what he called the three divides, race and religion, rich and poor, locals and new arrivals. But we have to manage the numbers, the pace and be able to absorb and integrate and maintain the spirit of our society. So we've got to keep that balance and be able to have that diversity. Referring to disparaging remarks made by insensitive Facebook users like Heather Chua, Amy Chong and British wealth manager Anton Casey, he warned how this isolated incident could cause flare-ups aggravated by social media. Do not lower ourselves to that same level to behave in a way which really makes us also ashamed of ourselves. To become abusive, hateful mobs, especially online and anonymously. In line with the forum's theme of progressing together, PM Lee urged the young people of Singapore to seize the day, chase their dreams and build a better Singapore together. The Prime Minister later mingled with students and guests at the reception. Audience members were impressed by the range of issues raised at the event. We deal with like a lot of coverages of questions today, from like environmental change to political issues. At the same time, like the identity of Singapore, which is quite interesting for me as a foreigner. I'm an engineering student, so I'm very concerned about the future, about the future development of science and technology in Singapore. So, as Prime Minister has just pointed out, that technology is shaping the world. Uh, I think Singapore has committed a lot of funds to develop science and technology, so I think it's a great place to do research. One student hoped that Singapore could play a larger role in shaping global environmental policy. I think he addressed the fact that it's very difficult in the international community to get a resolution on this issue. However, I felt that he could have perhaps been more positive towards um, environmental policy and maybe more specific about what he feels Singapore could do um, or any ways they could speak up or help influence the negotiations because they, as far as I'm aware, Singapore have a very good relationship with China um, that the West doesn't. And that wraps up our coverage of the NTU Ministerial Forum 2014. Thanks for watching.